Hey guys, even here with the old school apps and Tampa Pro has started, but only the 212, the classic physique and the other female divisions and so on, not the open. And I'm sure you heard already, George Peterson won. He won his 212 debut, absolutely deservedly. Uh, this guy on the left also looked pretty good. I'm not sure about his name, I think his nickname on Instagram is Flex Diesel, but most people know him the guy with the huge junk, because you can see that thing, it's huge. But anyways, uh, George won, and I think he absolutely deserved it. And we have hours separating us from the open division that's gonna be super exciting, and I'm gonna show you physique updates, and we have a really good physique update of Hunter Lobrada, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. Uh, but right now, let's focus on uh, on George right here. Uh, so I'm talking about uh, his potential at Mr. Olympia. Can he win the Mr. Olympia? I already mentioned it before, and now I'm taking a look at this, and yeah, yeah, look at the other guys. He absolutely destroyed them. Uh, what I would change on his physique is only the size of his legs. If he can bring the size of his legs up a little bit, that's pretty much it. He has that muscle density, he has really deep separation, he has the muscle maturity, the graininess, everything pretty much. He's complete, he has a nice flow. I mean, he's the previous uh, classic physique competitor. How classic his physique is, I would say not classic at all, but uh, it's more classic than some other 212 guys who are much bigger than him. Anyways, here you can see that his legs look pretty good and this most muscular is a really good most muscular. As far as the legs, he has the inner part, he has the adductors, really well developed, but I would definitely add more mass to the leg sweep, to the outer quad, to the lateral head, the, the vastus lateralis. I would definitely add there a little bit more and that's pretty much it. He's a great bodybuilder, he can do the open if he wants, he just needs to grow a little bit more, uh, he can dominate the 212, he can win the Mr. Olympia, maybe not this year, but maybe give him another year of growing, maybe even this year, I mean, uh, Kamal Gargni isn't that much much better than him, and if Derek Lancer doesn't bring the conditioning, George can take him out. So we'll see what happens in the Mr. Olympia. Now let's go with the update of Hunter Labrada, who just posted a full posing video. Hunter is not hiding a damn thing, he's not hiding anything, he's showing us everything since his prep started, and now hours away from the show with the protan and everything in opposing trunks, he's showing us his physique, and we can see every single thing much, much improved from his last edition at the Nationals, he looks much, much better now. Um, could he be more conditioned? Sure, I mean, this is not the conditioning of like Dorian Yates. It's not that level of conditioning, but these guys are talking, I listened to Hunter and to Ian in a podcast, and they said that they, they weren't hungry <laughs> during this prep. Ian says he was never hungry throughout the whole prep, and now he's drying out, he's not even thirsty. So these guys are not suffering at all. But that's the, that's the thing with today's bodybuilding. I mean, guys need to come big and full, and they don't have too much muscle that they can spare. If they were like 300 pounds shredded, then maybe they could, you know, suffer and lose some muscle and come uh, like Andreas Panzer or Torian Yates or something like that. But uh, no, no, if they do that, they're going to be much smaller and size definitely does matter in open bodybuilding. So the fullness is very important and the Hunter definitely has it. Can he beat Ian? Sure, sure, it's a possibility. It would be amazing to see a guy winning his pro debut once again. I said it a million times uh, and I'm not gonna say anything based on this video different than I said before. I still don't know who's gonna win it, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be your top two. Everybody is pretty much saying that, so I'm repeating myself. It's nothing new here, but this physique update looks amazing. He looks much better and he can win the Mr. Olympia in the future. Imagine him in, in, in two years of making progress and he sure will make progress. Ian, however, is not showing his entire physique, but he's showing us little bits and pieces. Uh, he's showing us his quads right here that are looking absolutely dry and really full, really vascular. Everything is just on point on Ian. I think he's gonna be at his best ever. And this is his show to lose, really. I mean, he is an established pro who has been placing uh, inside the top four, as he said, for the past, I don't know how many, two years. He didn't get a second call out. So he, he's a top pro. He's one of the top 10, 15 guys in the world. So if he loses this to Hunter, then that means Hunter is probably gonna be the next Mr. Olympia. I do not see that happening. However, I think Ian is going to be victorious in 2020 Tampa Pro. We'll see in a few hours. Since Samson Dauda and uh, Patrick Moore aren't in the mix anymore for different reasons, Patrick because he was scared uh, of these two guys and he probably thought he was going to lose, and Samson because he didn't get uh, the permission to travel, this is going to be your probably third place finisher. 
Uh, this guy's Instagram nickname is RPG, so I'm not sure what his real name is. I don't have time to do my research, but he just wrote that in his IG. Uh, he competed at Tampa Pro last year and he looks amazing. He has some really freaky poses, so I guess he's gonna be top 3. Okay, I know Tampa Pro is the first pro show this competitive season, but there are other things that we can talk about, the other news and updates, and we have a physique update or a training video of uh, William Bonek doing some bicep curls, and those biceps are looking suspicious as usual. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about Sintel or whatever, I'm just gonna show you this video, uh, just to, you know, take things a little bit uh, easier, because Tampa Pro is happening in a few hours, uh, we can show something else other than Tampa Pro updates now. Such as this as well, Dennis James, in his 55th or 6th year, uh, he looks really good for somebody who hasn't been competing for a long time, and he actually says he's not even trying hard, he's not really eating like a bodybuilder regularly, uh, he's not even training in a proper gym, he does some home workout stuff, and he keeps uh, his body fat percent this low and uh, a lot of muscle actually, he's retaining a lot of muscle, I'm sure he's on TRT at least, but still, no matter what, I mean, he looks amazing, he looks really good for his age, he does not look 50, I don't know, 56, something like that, so he, he definitely does look younger, and uh, props to him, props to Dennis James, he looks amazing. We have a physique and a mustache update of Hari Chopin, uh, I already talked about this before, about his mustache, when I saw it the first time, I thought it was some kind of a joke, maybe he wanted to copy Hulk Hogan, right, or something like that, for a joke, but he's actually keeping it. Um, he dyed his mustache, he made them blonde. Why did he do that? Beats me. I don't know, maybe he thinks he, it looks good, maybe you guys also think so. Uh, I said it, it was a joke, so I need to apologize, sorry Hari, if I offended you, but if you want my honest opinion, it looks silly. It looks, it looks silly. I don't know why would he do this, it looks funny. I don't know, maybe it still is a joke, <sighs> who the hell knows, but yeah, tell me what you guys think. And the last update is gonna be the update of Juan Morel, and this one is really surprising. I mean, look at how how melted he looks, and he says it's just the off season. So he's basically saying that this is his usual look in the off season. I'm sure he went completely off everything. I don't think he's even doing TRT because it looks much much worse than he when he's in his competitive state when he's ready for a show. It's like a completely different person. I don't know how this happens, like, what the hell? Compare it to this. I mean, the first photo looks like he has been retired for 20 years. And the second one looks him, I mean, at his prime that he is. Wow, I mean, it's, it's a huge transformation. If he can actually get this big in one prep next time he competes, whoosh, that's gonna be an amazing feat. I don't know if that's gonna be even possible. I mean, if he has been like that in his every offseason, that's just... I don't know, mind-boggling. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll talk to you soon, in a couple of hours, when Tampa Pro, the Open Division, actually starts. Stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed this video, like it. If you want to see more, once again, subscribe. That's gonna do it. All the best, guys, and keep it old school.